Hey guys, I'm Joe, this is Theo Joe Tech. I thought today it would be fun to talk about will hard drives ever be completely replaced by SSDs and just go away. Now obviously at this point in time, hard drives are an important part of computers because you really can't get the size of hard drives on SSDs. You got like eight terabyte hard drives. SSDs pretty much only go up to I don't know, one or two terabytes they're probably developing. Of course, they're always developing bigger ones, but right now, if you want a ton of space, you gotta go with a hard drive. Now, obviously, SSDs are far superior in other aspects, such as speed and durability, so are we going to come to a point in time where we're going to just use SSDs? Because really, they are superior in most ways, but hard drives, you know, you really can't beat that price right now. Now I really think that, yeah, we probably will get to the point where SSDs will really be used for almost everything, but I don't think we're ever gonna get rid of hard drives completely. I mean, every year, year after year, we always go up in both size of hard drives and SSDs, and I don't really see that converging at all. So especially because of the price, it really just makes sense to get a hard drive because you know, if you want to get the same amount of space you can on a hard drive, you got to spend a lot more money on SSDs. If you have that kind of money, it's not really a problem. But for most people, they don't really care. They might not know the difference between SSDs and hard drives. So there's still a very good market for hard drives, especially if people don't know the difference. They just say, oh, well, this one's eight terabytes and uh, this one's one terabyte. Obviously, I want to go with the bigger one. They have no idea what the difference is. And these people also really only care about the price. They might say, well, is the SSD really worth it for this much money if I can get the hard drive so much cheaper for more space? So I don't really see hard drives going away anytime soon. But I think if you look really far into the future, like 10 or 15 years, I really do think SSDs, it's just going to naturally become the standard for everything, maybe except for large data storage, although I don't know, we might get to a point where you can't really store much more data on a hard drive than on an SSD, and as that limit is reached, SSDs will still get cheaper for manufacturing, and I think at some point, we'll probably catch up to SSDs. But there are some applications that a hard drive is better than an SSD, like if you're reading and writing repeatedly a lot, SSDs have a limitation where you can only write to a certain sector a certain number of times before it can't be used anymore. So it becomes slower over time only if you're running a huge amount of data. If you're just a consumer with a regular SSD in your hard drive and you're not you know, hosting a data center or something, you're probably not gonna ever reach that limit. I think you have to write like hundreds of terabytes before you ever reach the limit where sectors start having to be disabled. But on hard drives, that just doesn't happen. Now the question is, would you ever get to that point on an SSD before a hard drive would fail? And for that reason, for a regular person, you really don't have to worry about SSDs failing because if you got to that point where you're writing that much data, it would be so old where the hard drive would probably start to fail or have failed anyway. Now, of course, SSDs are not bulletproof. You know, they're not indestructible and they do fail. However, they are much more durable in the sense that there's no moving parts or anything. So they're really good for laptops, I think, where you're moving it around, especially if you have it on your lap. I mean, it's constantly moving unless it's sitting on a desk. So an SSD, I think, is really the only way to go for a laptop. We're starting to tangent a little bit, but I really do see SSDs becoming the standard, at least in laptops, very soon. So going back on topic, why might SSDs become standard? I already mentioned really the two big ones, reliability and speed. However, if you think about it, for most people, they're not even using the maximum speed of an SSD. But, of course, they're a lot better at random access. And as for reliability, yeah, they're probably more reliable than hard drives. But if you're backing up properly, a hard drive isn't necessarily that bad anyway, because usually with smart sensors and all that, you can usually tell when a hard drive is starting to go. And if you have a backup, which you should anyway, then you know, you're probably not gonna have any issues regardless. So for an average consumer that doesn't really care about tech specs, it might not be that big a deal, whatever the specs are. However, I will say that the reason I think SSDs are going to be standard, the number one reason, 
is the reliability because people don't back up. It, obviously, it doesn't really matter what you're using if you back up properly, you have offsite backups, all that, but most people, they just don't even do that. They just expect the computer to work perfectly all the time, and obviously it doesn't, and they get mad when that doesn't happen. So I can easily see computer manufacturers moving to SSDs exclusively if the price is right, just so people don't experience hard drive failures and complain about the computers. And you know, it's bad for everybody. No one is happy when someone's hard drive dies and they lose a ton of different data, photos and all that, that they never backed up because they didn't realize it. So I think SSDs are a powerful protector against that. And that's a really good incentive to use SSDs exclusively. And for the people who do need big storage, they probably already know what they're doing so they can use hard drives anyway. So that's what I think. I think we're gonna probably move to SSDs exclusively, but for people who do really need huge amounts of data, there will always be the hard drives. Because I think at this point, most people don't use several terabytes and terabytes of data. And if you are, then like I said, you do know how to handle all that data. So I think that's where we're moving towards. We're getting into this, the terabyte size SSDs you know, we're probably gonna start to see computers that only have those. And I guess that's all I wanted to say. Hopefully this rambling was interesting enough. If you guys have any thoughts of your own, be sure to let me know in the comment section. We can keep this conversation going. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you thought I rambled too much or something, give it a thumbs down, let me know. I'm really interested in your feedback. I didn't really script this one, so I really wanna know what you guys thought. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can either click them or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. I look forward to hearing from you guys, so thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.